you can understand the penchant of Jack L. Capitan Tapura to keep the World Boxing Association, WBA, interim featherweight championship belt close to his chest. The belt emits prestige, in stark contrast to the buckets of trash Tapura used to collect to augment the family income. Oh, the belt also smells better. Tapura, a 25 year old power puncher, was officially crowned WBA interim featherweight, 126 pounds. Champion on July 15, after he demolished Mexican Edivaldo Ortega in the undercard of the Manny Pacquiao Lucas Mathis welterweight clash in Kuala Lumpur. Ortega boxed neatly in the early rounds and landed some nifty hooks, but Tapora's punching power took over, and a bone jarring right uppercut reduced the Mexican into a heap of rubbish in the ninth round. Nahira Pandaneko and Tibe Nia. Tapura told this writer. The ascent to champ status was a long and arduous one for Tapura. He grew up in Cebu and was inspired to take up boxing at age seven by his two older brothers who were into the sport. Jinjing Tapura boxed briefly in the amateur ranks, while Christopher Pingping Tapura campaigned as a pro in the flyweight, 112 pounds. Ranks before calling it quits in 2008. Nahilig Poeko sa boxing dahil sa mga kaya ko nasi jing jing at pingping, said Tapura. At na inspired din Poeko ni many Pacquiao. While harnessing his boxing skills in the amateur ranks, Tapura earned a living by collecting and selling trash. Things did not get any better when Tapura's mother passed away when he was barely eight years old. Ian Ang Pin Akamaharap Nana experience Ko Sa Buhe, Ang Mawilan and G Magulang, said Tapura. Nangalak Alako and G Basura Sa Don, Beauty Na Lang Nandian Ang Ga Kayako at Tanuru and Ako and G Boxing. Tapura turned pro in 2012 and knocked out five of his first seven opponents. Four years later, he won his first regional belt when he stopped countryman Jason Tanampe in five rounds for the vacant World Boxing Organization, WBO, Asia Pacific Youth Junior Featherweight, 122 pounds. Title. Tapura has won his last six fights by knockout, including the one against Ortega that gave him the WBA interim feather crown. Overall, Tapora has a record of 22-0 with 17 knockouts. The WBA interim title Tapora won is actually third in line in the WBA's perplexing title hierarchy. The WBA has this crazy policy of promoting a regular champion to super champion after the regular champ makes a few successful defenses or unifies the belt by beating a counterpart champ from the WBO, WBC or IBF. When the regular champ is promoted to super status, the regular belt is vacated and another boxer is crowned regular champ. This creates two WBA champions in one weight class. A third champ is added, the WBA interim champ, when the regular champ is injured or unavailable to make an immediate defense. As can be deduced, the super champ is considered the real WBA champion in the division. The WBA super featherweight champ is Mexico's Leo Santa Cruz, while the WBA regular champ is Jesus Rojas of Puerto Rico. Rojas is not injured or incapacitated, he is scheduled to defend against Joseph Diaz on August 11, which makes you wonder why there is a need for the WBA to create an interim or temporary belt. In any event, Tapora, as the WBA interim champ, has expressed his willingness to take on WBA super champ Santa Cruz, if only to legitimize his claim to the world title. Honda Poeco K. Santa Cruz said Tapora. 
hard training Langpo Tulaga Ankalangan para Matalo Kosia. Tapora is listed as a southpaw, but he actually packs power in both fists. He tends to stand in front of his foe and just hammer away. Tapora's left straight can readily rearrange an opponent's jaw, but El Capitan's right hook is just as dangerous and powerful. Mamgog Kulang Pa Dineko acknowledged Tapora. Young Hanjin, speed at defense. Tapora has time on his side to work on his shortcomings. The bottom line is that he is no longer scrapping the bottom of the barrel and is now flaunting a shiny new belt that could very well be a portent of good things to come.